Hello, my name is David Moyadin. I'm one of the silks at Radcliffe Chambers, and I do insolvency uh, and commercial work. Why are we talking about how to become a QC uh, as part of our pupillage Q&A videos? Well, some of you might already have decided that is your ultimate goal and what you want to do with your career at the bar. Some of you might not know yet, just might be interested in hearing about what it is uh, and how to go about becoming one. So what is a silk? Silk is the colloquial term for a Queen's Council, for a QC. And it comes from the fact that the gowns that we wear in court used to be made only of silk. You've still got that choice now, but you don't have to have a gown made of silk, but the name has stuck around uh, and people call us silks. What do we do? We lead on cases. We get brought into fewer but bigger cases. So the volume of work you do goes down when you stop being a junior barrister and start being a silk. And it's really a different role brought in to cases to lead the legal team and to advise on specific areas of law or, or to be the advocate in bigger cases uh, at trial or on appeals. How do you get to be a silk? Well, there's an application process, uh, an organisation called Queen's Council Appointments looks after all that. And it's a merit based application, a long, long form to fill in, lots of referees to be contacted. And if you get through that uh, first round and are sifted through, then you get an interview. And if that goes well, then you get uh, a letter that tells you you've been appointed as Queen's Council. And then there's this fantastic ceremony. Um, where you get to put all the fancy dress on, all the ceremonial dress that QCs wear, uh, and spend a day being congratulated. Uh, it's a really nice thing. Uh, you go to Westminster Hall, get given a red envelope with what are called your letters patent in, which is the formal document appointing you. And then there's lots of celebrating uh, and lots of partying to do. What might you want to think about if you're thinking you might want to be a silk? Well, of course, it's very early days for you in pupillage or your early years at the bar, but you might want to have half an eye on getting yourself in to watching uh, Silk's performing cases, to being part of a bigger legal team as your practice starts to develop and working alongside Silk's, watching and working alongside them, seeing what they do, seeing how they go about doing things. And maybe you might pick up some tips on how to do something. You might watch them and think, oh, I quite like the way that's been done. I'm going to take that and use it myself. And equally, you might watch them and say, that was awful. I'm never going to do that. But either way, that's a great learning experience as you build your own practice, build your network, and start to develop a list of cases um, that are high profile, high value, significant cases that might support an application into silk. Talking to the clerks, making sure they know when it's the right time uh, to um, help you develop that practice so that you might be ready to make an application. But it is very early days and people don't tend to apply until they've got a good few years under their belt. Uh, I was 16 years core when I was appointed uh, and some people are appointed much later than that, um, maybe 20, 25 years uh, into their careers. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing the job, it's when you're ready to apply uh, that your application uh, can be made. So that's about it on how uh, you work towards becoming a QC. The very best of luck with your fire, uh, search for pupillage and in your careers. Thanks for watching.